Hello guys, welcome back to another video. So some of you guys have been asking me why I use Unreal Engine 4. Uh, why not just use another game engine like say Unity? Well, in this video, I want to discuss the 10 main reasons why I use Unreal Engine 4. And quick disclaimer, this isn't going to be a one-on-one -on -one comparison with Unity or any other game engine. This is just the 10 main reasons why I use Unreal. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, so starting out with number 10, easy to learn. If you're interested in game development or Unreal Engine 4 in particular, I cannot stress this point enough. Unreal Engine 4 is a easy game engine to learn. I think it's probably the best game engine for beginners who are just trying to start out learning game development. The reason why I think this is because it is really intuitive, it has clean laid out UI, and there are various systems within Unreal Engine, such as the material system, skeletal meshes, animation, all of these systems you can very easily learn as a beginner. Another plus is you don't have to have any coding or programming knowledge, so you don't need to know how to write any sort of code to make your game. You can use the Blueprint system, which is pretty much a visual scripting system. I'll talk more about this later. Uh, so the bar of entry is really low and anyone can download the engine and get started with Unreal, which leads me to my next point. Number nine, Unreal Engine 4 is free. So in order to get started with Unreal, all you need is an Epic Games account. It's the same account that you use to play Fortnite or any other games on the Epic Store. Unreal Engine 4 is 100% free. Uh, there's no hidden fees. There's no pro version, no premium, none of that. You get the full engine, uh, the same engine that is used by professional studios, by people making movies. Plus, you also get the full access to the source code for free. So literally Joe Blow off the streets could go make an Epic Games account right now, go to github.com and download the full source code for Unreal Engine 4. Now, as far as royalties go, you have to pay 5% royalties on your game after you make over a million dollars in revenue. So that's pretty generous. I mean, only 5% after you make a million dollars. But yeah, that's pretty much Unreal Engine. There's no pro version of that, completely free. And yeah, number eight, application. Whether you are using Unreal Engine to make games, Unreal Engine 4 over the past years has evolved from a game engine to something more than that. Unreal Engine 4 is now being used in many different industries by big companies. For example, in the past couple years, Unreal Engine 4 has been used to make movies in the process called virtual production. Uh, pretty much they'll build out a scene in Unreal Engine and they'll project that scene onto big screens where they can record the actor in front of the screens and cut down the production time and also have realistic lighting environments and all that stuff. It's also being used for architectural visualization and the automobile industry, virtual reality, and so much more. The many uses and applications of Unreal Engine have become so broad that so many companies around the world use Unreal Engine 4 for a variety of projects. And I believe that there will be a big demand for people to learn and use Unreal Engine 4 for jobs and careers all around the world. I mean, some of the technologies that Unreal Engine has is paving the way for the future for some of these industries, and Unreal Engine 4 is not going anywhere. Number seven, built-in multiplayer tools. If you want to make multiplayer games or experiences, Unreal Engine 4 is for you. Unreal Engine 4 is built around multiplayer. So many years ago, Epic Games was working on a game called Unreal Tournament, which is a multiplayer match-based game. Pretty much from there, Epic Games has worked and developed multiplayer games like, say, Paragon, and more recently, Fortnite. And if you haven't heard much about Fortnite, it's a 100-player game, Battle Royale, which is pretty impressive multiplayer-wise, uh, if you think about that, 100 players on one server. So to accomplish something like that, obviously the team over at Epic is pretty talented and they're all using the same tools, the multiplayer tools that are available within Unreal Engine to develop their games. So if you load up the engine and click play with two clients, you can see multiplayer right in the action. You can see the replicated movement of your character right by default. As far as utilizing these multiplayer tools, there is a certain set of rules that you need to follow, and there's obviously a learning curve with that, but it can be done. I have a multiplayer basics tutorial series that teaches you how to set up multiplayer in your games, and there are many different resources out there and tutorials on how to learn. The general point I want you guys to understand is that all of the tools that you need to make a multiplayer game 
are integrated into the engine. And really the only challenge is learning those tools. Uh, the best part is that the multiplayer tools that Epic Games develops for their big titles like Fortnite trickle down to us. You can literally use the same tools that they use to make Fortnite, like for example, the gameplay ability system, replication graph, and so on to make a multiplayer battle royale game of your own. Number six, built by game developers for game developers. Epic Games is a company that was founded on making games. Ever since the early days, making games is what they were all about. Over time after developing many different games, they realized that they can really open up the tools that they use to create the game and offer the game engine as a service for other studios to use called the Unreal Engine. So really making games is what they were all about, is what they originated on, and is something that they definitely know their stuff about. Or perhaps think about it this way, who else in the world would you want to make a game engine other than the actual game developers who know how to make games? Another part of this, and I mentioned this before, was the trickle down effect. Uh, whenever Epic Games wants to develop some new tools and technology for their game, like say Fortnite, uh, they successfully implement said tools and technology. Then they take that and they make it available for the community and everyone else using Unreal Engine 4. For example, uh, look at the Fortnite water system, the chaos physics, landmass tools, virtual texturing. All of these kind of originated in Fortnite and now are available as tools that anyone can download and use within Unreal Engine 4. It's 100% free, no cost. Number five, built-in systems. Unreal Engine 4 has come a long way since it released back in 2015. You used to have to pay $20 a month to use the engine. The engine was very bare bones. You could barely do anything in Blueprint. Uh, mostly everything you had to do was either from scratch and in C++. Unreal Engine 4 now has so many built-in systems that are free from the built-in volumetric clouds to the new 4.26 water system, the chaos physics destruction, vehicles, groom, control rig, facial capture, and so much more. There's a variety of built-in systems and plugins that are all free. If you're looking for any sort of integration or connection with any other program or system, there's definitely a plugin for that. There are a variety of third-party plugins too that will bridge the gap between whatever 3D program you're using to Unreal Engine 4. There are just so many integrations and so many built-in systems. It is this very point that allows you to use Unreal Engine 4 for a very broad scope of application and I mean we're just seeing new stuff being added and integrated into Unreal Engine like say the new metahumans those automatically import into the engine don't have to set anything up and they just keep adding and adding more stuff all right number four community the Unreal Engine 4 community has probably doubled in the past couple years and is only going to grow bigger tutorials and resources are growing daily and while Unreal Engine 4 might not be the mainstream game engine for beginners I think that's about to change here in the future. I think we're gonna see probably a big rise in the Unreal Engine 4 community, as in users, tutorials, and more. Maybe we'll even see this when Unreal Engine 5 kicks off. I feel like there's gonna be thousands of people who wanna learn game development, but don't know how easy Unreal Engine is to use. Once people start finding out, uh, there's gonna be a big boom in the community, even with hobbyists, indies, freelancers, and more. So if you're looking for a perfect time to start learning Unreal Engine, I've got to say now is the time to get started. Number three, free stuff. If you guys are unaware, Epic Games is probably one of the most generous companies. They give away so much free stuff. They have indie roots ever since they started out, and now that they have gotten millions of dollars in profit from Fortnite, they are very generous to share their wealth with everyone. If you are using Unreal Engine 4, Epic Games gives away five free asset packs from the marketplace every single month. So these are high quality paid assets that usually cost around $200 to $300 retail price for free. All you have to do is open the Epic Games launcher every month and claim these free assets and you have them free forever. I've been doing this for years and look at all the assets I've accumulated for free. On top of that, Epic Games acquires companies and literally makes their service for free for Unreal Engine 4 developers. I mean, have you guys ever heard of Quixel Megascans? 
a photo scan library of over 11,000 photo scan models, textures, and materials. It is completely free to use in Unreal Engine 4, and it is a ever-growing library. They keep adding more and more models every week. Then there's also the MetaHuman Creator, which you guys have probably more recently heard of, which is a high quality character creation system. But yeah, like I said, there's always free stuff when it comes to Epic Games. They're always giving away stuff for free, acquiring companies and making their service free. And of course, Unreal Engine 4 is 100% free. All right, number two, constant updates. One of the best things about using Unreal Engine 4 is the constant updates. Unreal Engine 4 has been paving the way for new industry technology and in game, film, and more. You can expect updates every single month. They release a new engine version probably about twice a year, and then from there they add patches and hot fixes every month. The engine is always in a state of constant updating, and the team over at Epic is always working on new features. It's crazy how far Unreal has come in the past couple years. I remember the only thing you could do with Blueprint back then was make a door. Epic Games over the past couple years has only taken the money that they've made from Fortnite and reinvest it back into their game engine. And now with Unreal Engine 5 in the horizon, we know that the engine is not going anywhere. It's going to stay at the forefront of the industry. Number one, Blueprint. If you've never heard of Blueprint, or maybe you are very new to it, Blueprint is the visual scripting system of Unreal Engine 4. It is a dynamic scripting system that allows anyone to program game logic just by dragging nodes and connecting them together. It doesn't require writing a single line of code. It can allow you to quickly prototype gameplay mechanics and you can pretty much do anything with it. The main reason why I think this is one of the main points of Unreal Engine 4 is because if you're an artist who doesn't have the time to learn writing code, or say you're an indie dev who just wants to make his dream game, or maybe you're even a hobbyist, you don't really care, you like to do this for fun, Blueprint is really easy to learn, and you can make some very complex stuff. For example, look at my Cyberpunk game. That entire game was made out of Blueprint. I didn't write a single line of code. Same with my Fall Guys video. Um, pretty much all my projects are honestly Blueprint. I didn't use any C++ code. And now if you're a programmer, you might be saying, oh, wait a second, what about C++? Isn't C++ better, you know? And the way it's designed is you can script out things and create functionality within Blueprint. And if you want, you can take it a little bit further by nativizing the blueprint functionality into C++. And this is kind of where working with a team and collaborating with team members comes into play. So if you're working in a team or within a group of people, and say you have artists and programmers, blueprint is essentially the bridge between, between the two parties. So you can create game functionality and script things out very quickly with Blueprint, then programmers can take that and nativize it and transform it into C++ code, and they can expose certain variables to Blueprint for artists and designers to tweak. So say if you have a weapon and you want to tweak the range of the weapon, the damage, all that stuff, the core functionality is written in C++, but the variables such as damage, range, all that stuff is exposed for artists and designers to tweak. So Blueprint really is just highly flexible. It's easy to learn. It's great for beginners, especially for indies, hobbyists, and more. If you are looking to start on your journey using Unreal Engine 4, you can check out any of my tutorials on my channel. I teach you guys how to make multiplayer games, how to use the engine, how to install it and get up and running. I'll leave a link to some resources that has helped me learn Unreal Engine 4 down in the description below. But yeah, that's pretty much it. To summarize, I don't really think Unreal Engine is going anywhere. And with Unreal Engine 5 on the horizon, it's definitely going to become an industry standard if it isn't already. And I think the rise of user base within Unreal Engine is only going to increase from here on out. As a guy who started messing around with Unreal Engine back in 2014 when it was very bare bones, I can 100% tell you that Epic has not neglected their engine, but has only invested more and more into the development of it till it has become one of the most powerful programs in the world being used by studios worldwide. Anyways, that's pretty much it. Those are 10 reasons why I use Unreal Engine 4. Like I said, if you guys want to get started on your journey, I'll leave those links down in the description below. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like. 
If you have any questions or comments, leave them down in the comments down below, and I'll see you guys in the next one.